so uh, I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera or not, but I just came out to record and it is snowing out for the first time this year. Uh, that's a surprise for sure. I don't know if it'd be a pleasant one or not. All right, everybody. So you guys saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. Today, we are going to be building my Mark V Toyota Supra in the new Forza Horizon game. So I've had this idea for quite some time. Even when I had my old car on the old channel, the Genesis Coupe, I really, really wanted to build my car in a video game. But I don't play Xbox or PlayStation, so I don't have like Gran Turismo and access to all those other games. I play PC and the new Forza just came out and I figured what better time to go ahead and build this thing than now considering that this is like one of the biggest cars in the game it's one of the first choices for a car you get and man i've been playing the game since it came out and i absolutely love it so i mean yeah there's not really much else to talk about besides we're gonna be building this car in forza horizon 5 so i guess right now we gotta head back to the house get the pc booted up get forza horizon loaded up and i will see you guys on the computer all right everybody so we just got loaded into the game here now i don't ever record on pc so i'm hoping my audio is going to be okay if it sounds like trash i'm just going to go ahead and apologize in advance i tried to do a few tests and everything seemed to sound pretty good so uh yeah fingers crossed but yeah now that we are in game here let's go ahead and get ourselves a supra so we're gonna fast travel back to the house so let's get to it here head over to the auto show and then we'll go on down to Toyota and then we are going to get ourselves another Supra and of course I'm gonna go with the stock color and gotta go with the red man because after all I'm building my car all right man let's check this thing out and I mean of course I've already checked it out this was the first car I picked in the game I'm not gonna pick anything else over this full sim baby the only thing that I've noticed that's inaccurate about the car, and I don't really know if you guys can tell right now where it's dark, is the engine cover is glossy instead of matte. Not that it really matters. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head over to the garage here. Upgrades and tuning. Custom upgrade. And we're pretty much just going to make this exactly like my car. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't want it to be nighttime so you guys can actually see. So I'm going to try to figure out how to not make it nighttime. And I'll cut to when I figure that out. So, uh, I just realized I'm a complete bot. I sat here and waited for like 5-10 minutes for it to get, uh, daylight, and it didn't. And then I realized you could just go to the garage here and, you know, see it in perfect light. So, uh, yeah, let's get to the upgrading. We're basically gonna make this exactly like I have mine. I'm gonna try to get it down to a T, like even with the carbon fiber and everything. So, I don't have any extra arrow right now. I'd like to get a lip and a diffuser soon. The tires, I mean, I just have stock tires on, so I guess we'll leave that as is. Um, that's 255. Yeah, my fronts are 255s, rears are 275s. That doesn't need to be touched. Wheels, still got the stock wheels. We're going to go back. We'll go up here to the drivetrain. Now, I, I don't have anything in the drivetrain either. I don't want to make this like a really boring video and, you know, just change like three things on the car. Because, like, I don't have super, super a lot done to the car. But, I mean, like, it's making some good power. But the crazy thing about these cars is it doesn't take much to make some good power. You know, we'll definitely lower it right here because that... That doesn't look like stock height. That looks like a monster truck. That looks a whole lot closer to what I've got there. Um, I don't have any upgraded brakes or anything. Don't have a roll cage. No weight reduction. We'll head on over to the engine here. Now, I don't have an intake. I want to get one, but I don't want to hurt the car performance-wise, basically. Like, if you guys look, everywhere you look, you'll see that the stock intake is the best on this car. And I guess, you know, we'll just keep it as stock. Now, the fuel system is stock, but the car is running E85, so I mean... I guess technically, since we can't like change it to an E-Tune, we'll upgrade the fuel system on here. We got the Tome, so you know we gotta throw the exhaust on. Unfortunately, and I really don't understand why this is a thing, but there's no single exit on this car. Like, that makes no sense to me. But uh, yeah, go ahead and throw that on. And then, I really don't have any other engine mods. But as you guys can see right now, the car in-game is making 385 horsepower and 419 foot-pounds of torque. In real life, right now, I'm running a 93 tune, so I should be making about 450 wheel and like 500 wheel torque. So I guess we'll just add some random stuff here and there to basically get the car to where it is power-wise in real life. Even though I don't have an intake, we'll throw that on. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The stock's the most efficient, so why? <laughs> yeah, race intake. Already got the fuel system. Go over here to ignition. What does this bring us up to? 421 and 459. Um, And then I guess the last thing we could do here is let's see what these valves do. 
Um, 439, 479. That's very close. We just need a little bit more power. Um, what about this intercooler here? What does this do for us? 453 and 494. I mean, that is basically as close as I'm going to get it on this 93 tune. Now, I've never dynoed the car, but I've seen a million YouTube videos of people dynoing it with the setup that I have. And from everything I've seen, it should be making about 450 wheel and 490 500 wheel torque on the Stage 2 MHD 93 tune with the Catalyst downpipe and so on. So, uh, yeah. We'll add that on, and then we will go back. We'll check out here, get all this stuff. And then, last but not least, we need to design and paint this thing to make it look how mine actually looks in real life so unfortunately I can't add like the uh, M style carbon mirrors or anything but we can go right here make the mirrors uh, carbon fiber polished and then I don't have tinted windows in real life but because it's a game and why not I'm just gonna go ahead and tint them make them black if only it was that easy in real life man <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's about all I can do in here, and now it's gonna have to get to the stuff that I'm just gonna end up skipping through probably because I don't even know how to do this stuff, so, uh, basically what I'm getting at is I'm about to apply some vinyls, I'm gonna try to make it so it looks like it has a, uh, a carbon duckbill on it back here like mine does, unfortunately, also, I guess I didn't even show you guys, but you can't add a duckbill on this car in the game for some reason, even though this car, the A91 edition, comes stock with a carbon duckbill, it's not an option you can add on this car in game for some reason. You you can only put massive wings or the uh, Liberty Walk. Uh, hold on, the Rocket Money. I'll just go show you what you can put. So we got the stock. We got the uh, Mark IV style wing. We got the HKS wide body like big duck bill, which actually looks really sick. And I would put this on, but dude, I've tried a million times to turn that into carbon fiber and like. Maybe I'm just a bot, but I cannot get it figured out, bro. Got the massive HKS wing, got the little GT wing, and then you got the Street Fighter LA wing. So, uh, yeah, none of those are what I have, so we're just going to leave it stock. Now, back here, and, uh, yeah, this is probably going to take some time. I'm going to try to turn these carbon, door handles carbon, and then a little carbon-looking thing back here. And, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Supra Lip R34 GTR. Okay, we might be onto something here. Okay, we might be onto something. Handle. Okay, well, might have to make do with this. <laughs> oh, man, this thing looks hilarious. <laughs> what kind of white handle is this, man? <laughs> about like that all right so we finally got one handle done all right now let's figure out oh how are we gonna move this to the other side of the car now Wait, what did that say mirror can i mirror to the other side oh my goodness okay so we got both door handles done just like that and yeah unfortunately it's not carbon fiber but dude i just looked through this for uh longer than i needed to probably to realize that there's no carbon fiber so go ahead and go here now apply shape search supra we should be able to reuse this door handle thing right here um where is it gonna put it right there okay let's see now that i think about it there's not really a point in me making this black because it's already black i need it carbon yeah i guess we're gonna have to leave those black and now, last but not least, we're going to have to try to figure out how to add a little black or carbon duck bill to this thing. What is all this right here, dude? So, I've just been a bot my whole life, basically. So, it's... Okay, I... Super lip... Is this, like... We'll see what this looks like real quick. Hold on. Okay, so we might actually be able to make this work here. Oh, my goodness, man. I feel like a bot. All right, so I guess... You know, I'm just going to grab, like, a few of these and just start sticking them together. Mm, that's actually looking pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. All right, now, I want to see how this looks because I think I might have actually done a way better job than I could have ever <laughs> imagined, man. I feel like it might honestly be easier to wrap your car in real life than on this game, bro. Oh, my goodness. Let's see how this thing actually looks now. Hopefully, it's not nighttime and we'll be able to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That actually looks pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. Like... Obviously, it's not a duck bill back there, but, like, it stands out noticeably that it's black. Um, I don't think you can really tell too much from this angle, but thankfully my duck bill in real life is not lined up that poorly. <laughs> oh, man. Let's take this thing for a little rip now. Um, I don't want to make this video too, too long. I really just wanted to customize my car in, in Forza Horizon 5 and see how, like, accurate I could make it look, basically. Um, so I can definitely tell you that my car does not turn this bad in real life, man. Oh my goodness. 
Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to customize my car on here, make it look as close to real life as possible. I feel like I did it. Oh my. Okay, I promise the Supra is much better in real life than it is in this game, man. My goodness. Uh, yeah, I just want to customize my car in here, make it look as close to real life as possible. Obviously, we couldn't get everything, but I mean, dude, for the most part, this thing looks pretty spot on. Like, yeah, that's that's awesome, man. Definitely going to have to use this car for some races throughout the next week. Hopefully, I'll be able to use it for some races because it doesn't drive that good. I'm not going to lie, man. But, uh, yeah, everybody, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. I wanted to do it with my Genesis Coupe on my old channel, but there was not really any games that have Genesis Coupes in them. And the best car game, in my opinion, at least, is Forza. And since I knew the Mark V was coming out on the new Forza, I had to go ahead and take the opportunity to you know build my car in game basically and it looks awesome man I wish I could keep my car this clean in real life bro like I could just go sand it off road and it would not get dirty and stuff but yeah man I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys know how to design cars better or if maybe I missed a few things that could have made the car look better like if they had actual carbon fiber door handles or like an actual carbon fiber spoiler let me know let me know down in the comments below and like I'll get it remade maybe throw it in the end of a different video or something like that but yeah everybody like I said that is really going to wrap it up for this one I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop a like and subscribe peace out I'll see you guys in the next one